I'm going to do an exercise for Siamese Mahjong using the National Mahjong League card. Siamese Mahjong is when you play two hands with one opponent. It's very challenging and a lot of fun if you practice. This exercise is called Charleston Sprints. We're going to practice on speed. The reason you might want to do that is twofold. One, if you want to play online or two, if you ever want to play in a tournament, because both are timed. You have to make decision in under two minutes for online. In a tournament, you play a timed game, and it'll vary depending on the tournament director. But this is a great exercise if you ever plan to do those two things. If you're new to Mahjong, or if you already know how to play and just want to build your skills, consider subscribing to my channel. That way you won't miss anything. I have my smartphone here with a stopwatch app. We're going to do three laps. Laps one, three, and five will be the sprints. Laps two and four will be set up. My personal goal is to make decisions in under two minutes as an advanced player. We're going to alternate between player one and player two, so we'll get 28 tiles, then 27, then 28. We have a joker, flowers, pair of white dragons, green, northeast, west, three, five, eight, one, two, three, five, six, eight, two, four. I think I would do probably, uh, let's see, maybe a year hand in two, four, six, eight. Let's see, we do have one, two, three, one, two, three, five, news, almost news. I don't think I would do anything with wins here. I think I would focus on two, four, six, eight, and then maybe one, two, three. One, two, three. Maybe use those dragons. And then two, four, six, eight and I'd keep it all lap. So we could do one, two, three, one suit Kongs. We could do one, three, five dragon. One of, this could be joker bait, per, maybe. If you wanna know more about joker bait, look for links in the video description. I just had a second thought. Maybe we could keep these down here for two, four, six, eight. Focus on one, three, five dragon. And that'll help this two, four, six, eight hand. Maybe we could do two, eight with four, six, but we're gonna need joke, uh, flowers for this hand. We need a pair of flowers there. But there are a couple other things we can do here. The concealed hand, for example, if we get a two crack, we could do pairs with twos. Here we have eights, so that might work too. So I think that's what I would do. We have seven discards. If the goal is eight discards or less, I think that's a pretty strong plan. If you would do something differently here, write sprint one and what you would do with these tiles. Jokers, flowers, east, west, one, two, three, 
five, six, eight, two, three, four, five, seven, eight, two, three, six, eight, nine. We do have some three, six, nine in here. Uh, three, six, nine, maybe even the pair hand, but we only have one pair. So threes, east, west, flowers, west, two jokers, threes. One, two, two, three, four, five, two, three, two, three, four, threes. Two, three, two, three, four, and threes. Three, six, nine. Really, seven, eight, we never use. Seven, eight, we never use. Three, six, nine. One, two. Two, three, one, two. East and west. Okay, so let's, we'll keep those there. Three, six, nine, maybe, and then a year. Year. Three, six, nine, probably. Uh oh lap okay so here we have three six nine we could maybe even do let's see three six nine mix suit kongs here we could do east and west with the year or some other year hand or maybe even a quint if we can pair up a number tile and then I would start by discarding these. And we have seven discards. I think that's a pretty good plan. Now here we have a plan B for the weak hand. We could do east and west with the year. We could do the concealed hand and then use these down here for maybe, or one of them, for three, six, nine, three, six, nine mixed suit Kongs, let's say. So I think I would just hold those all, focus here, discard those. If you would do something different here, write Sprint 2 in the comment section below. We have flow, <clears throat> jokers, flower, east, south, white, two, three, seven, nine, and cracks with a pung of sevens. One, two, three, four, five, six, eight, nine in bams. Oh, really? Okay. Then two, four, five, seven, eight, nine, pair four. I would play a quint with those sevens, big multiple. And then down here, one through five, or maybe two, four, six, eight might be better because we have two, four, eight, two, four, six. And then up here we have a two, two, four, six, eight in the quint. So we'll hold this for a spare, sevens. We'll lap. Now here we have a couple too, too many discards. So there are a couple things to consider here. When you see this many discards, always take another peek and quickly reassess because you wanna to try to have eight discards or less to really have optimization in these plans. But we do have a pretty good assortment here of 2468 and this potential quint looks really good we could kong there we could even quint the south we just need to build this up if the south comes in we can let this go so here we have a lot of odds here we have evens one thing you could quickly look at in your assessment is can you make consecutive runs with these because if you mix all these together, we're gonna see consecutive run. So let's see if I can make an example of that. One through five we have, and then we have 
let's see, we have two, three, four, five. That would be using that multiple and a predominant pattern. So maybe what we could do here is think about in the reassessment, letting go of the nines first and keeping the little numbers. So keep these for potential two, two through five of some kind in mixed suits. So always keep an eye on those discards. Reassess if you have more than eight. If you have eight and joker bait, that's okay because you might get value out of that joker bait. And if you wanna know more about joker bait, look for links in the video description below. That is a term coined by Tom Sloper of Sloperama. It's a hit or miss theory, but it, when it works, it's fun and you get a joker. If you would have done something differently with these tiles, write sprint three in the comment section below. While you're doing your sprints, always keep an eye on the discard count. If you have a plan for your tiles building around strength, multiples or the predominant pattern, you want to try to have eight discards or less. If you have more than that, maybe you didn't take enough time to come up with a strong plan. You should have about eight discards or less. That would be a strong plan. Otherwise you got to reassess and that takes time. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, consider subscribing. Click the little gray bell if you do. That way you'll get notification for when I post new videos and you won't miss an opportunity to learn a new strategy or pick up an insight to the game that could give you an advantage at the table. Between now and the next video, may all your picks be keepers.